We're here with Bertrand Poirier, an engineering manager at Fantech in Bactouche. We're standing in front of a model of one of their heat recovery ventilation units that they manufacture here. So Beltran, how do these work exactly? Well, typically a heat recovery ventilator will have the, the core as the center of its unit. The core itself acts as a heat exchanger to exchange the colder air that's coming in in winter time. So there's two actual air flows going into the unit. There's two fans, so one for the stale air and one for the fresh air. And basically what happens is simultaneously you'll bring in fresh air from the outdoors while at the same time expelling stale air to the, out to, to the outdoors. So essentially a unit like this will be able to change the air in your home maybe uh, up to three times per hour or something like that. So. And what do people need to know in order to be able to operate these, uh, these units on a day-to-day -day basis? Typically units are sized up so that their continuous mode of operation will be sufficient to maintain good indoor air quality. So what we recommend as a manufacturer is to operate these units at a continuous ventilation speed, so either your low or medium speed. And this will do two things. It will reduce your power into the unit and also uh, increase the, the, the efficiencies because you're running at a lower speed, so you have less uh, transfer of uh, heat going on inside the, the core itself. So uh, there is a switch on the side of units on this particular model that allows you to select between a low and medium speed and on, there are optional controls that can be mounted remotely that offer that, that control feature also. One question we get from people about this whole question of tight houses and air uh, exchangers is that why would you make a house tight and then have to put an additional piece of equipment in to move air through the house? Isn't one working against the other? Well, the answer to that is that they're not working against each other because what you're starting with is uncontrolled ventilation and you're losing a lot of heat from air leakage uh, from the house. What we're moving to is a controlled strategy where we control the air leakage in the house by sealing and then put ventilation in which will deliver fresh air where we want it at the rate we want it and recover heat from the exhaust air in the process. So we're going to a much more controlled, much more energy efficient uh, approach to ventilating and we're eliminating or trying to eliminate as much as possible this random air leakage which in, which in worst cases will take moist air into attics or walls where it will condense and rot parts of the building. Well thanks so much for all of your help Beltran. It's good to learn a little bit more about these heat recovery ventilation systems. It's been a pleasure Julie.